These are cute. These are cute. These are cute. Wow. Oh my god. Bitch. And welcome back to the vlog. It is Tuesday? What is it today? It's Tuesday. Yes, it's Bachelorette Night tonight. It's Tuesday. I love how that is my marker for what day it is. Anyways, I have kind of a busy day today, actually. I was feeling super sick yesterday. I think I ate something bad. And anytime I feel a little bit off, I'm like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, COVID, COVID, COVID. And I recently just filmed with Sam and Colby, and we were all tested prior to filming. I saw a few comments about that and wanted to address that. That filming environment was totally safe, but like, I am so so paranoid anytime I get like the littlest scratchy in my throat I start panicking and spiral and anyways I'm fine I think I just ate something bad or my Starbucks ended up being regular milk instead of soy milk anyways a bitch is alive and we are here today and I finally have a concrete launch date for the white art club merch and also the tie-dye kits I have been working on this for so long like genuinely so long it is insane I I think we've gone through three different manufacturers for dye to get the best quality dye that is safe and like up to all of the health and safety regulations which honestly makes me a little scared to think about how many companies potentially don't do that but our kits are finally done finally finally i busted it open already so she's a little she's a little mangled currently but this is what they look like you might remember them from honestly like probably two months ago last time i had the tie-dye kits in the vlog and my arm is dying one second i'm gonna put you down so this is what she looks like she is cute you get the five bottles of dye plus little packets of like a second round of dye you get the gloves you get the elastics you get the cute little manual with some like different packets Patterns, but obviously I feel like you know Pinterest internet whatever you want to do but they're there if you want them and honestly this might be the cutest packaging that I've ever made for a product I think so November 15th Sunday it's happening I'm so excited so we've got the tie-dye kits and then also all of the merch from like past merch drops any extra inventory that we had will now be on sale and available for the most part on the website when these drop so if you want to grab something else like while you're paying for shipping anyways there will be lots of pieces from past merch drops I think there's actually a few moose plushies too and I am super excited it's been so long since I've launched any merch like genuinely it's been Before Christmas for sure because I'm thinking about the last time that I shot merch photos It would have been the flannel prior to Christmas. So it's been forever It's been a hot 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 minute, but I'm super excited because the white pieces are cute Just like as is um, the sweatpants I've just been wearing just like the white art club sweatpants But whether you want to buy my tie-dye kit, which obviously I would love but if you have tie-dye kits at home These are really cute white based that are good quality that are guaranteed to dye because we've already run so many dye tests on them so they are super tie-dye friendly with a cute graphic on the front like I'm here for it I'm so here for it so in the last vlog I've got two hoodies some sweatpants some shorts that are already dyed I'm shooting at the most incredible location on Friday I'm so excited to vlog it also just like haven't left the house in so long and this is gonna be such a good vlog because this location chef's kisses it's so fun it'll be perfect and super colorful for having like obviously a tie-dye line and launch so I'm doing three more pieces today uh, this is a hoodie that I already have spiraled and tied up and then I've got two pairs of sweatpants and size wise I've been wearing the smalls but we've got extra small up until double XL and a couple triple XL I think let me double check but I do just want to say that finding white bases to print anything on has been insane has been insane tie-dye as you guys know has gotten so incredibly popular over the last I don't know six months or whatever so finding a good solid inventory to do anything on a white piece of merch was nearly impossible we were able to secure almost everything that I was looking for but obviously there are some restraints just because like white stuff is so damn hard to find right now all right let's tie-dye
All right, we've got four new ones cooking overnight. Pink, blue, and purple. Another take on the rainbow. These are both sweatpants. And then this hoodie, cute color combo. I've never done something like this, big fan. And then this one I, I truly don't think is gonna turn out, but I wanted to see how it would turn out if we did like two pant legs, totally different. I also got a little purple here and I'm so mad. It was so like clean and separated. I think it's gonna be really ugly, but I'm not entirely sure. So um, I've got lots of sample so we'll try it out and see how it goes maybe it'll be cool maybe it'll be ugly we don't know hello the exciting outing of the week is costco <laughs> oh my god honestly like this hangout is not any different than the things that we would normally be doing but just i feel like i haven't been out in a Ooh, Greek yogurt. Oh my gosh, let me show you what I have so far. We'll do a whole haul when I get home, but my card is very me right now. My two first and most important finds are champagne and then this dog treat advent calendar. Are you shitting me right now? I'm gonna do some research when I get home and make sure like the treats are healthy for dogs, but so cute, so cute. Mini Costco haul. I accidentally put a bunch of it away already, but it was nothing exciting, just like the garbage bags and stuff. Okay, so this is possibly my favorite snack in the entire world. Maybe not snack. That implies that it could be healthy, which it's definitely not. Also, I got this, which I've never tried before, and now I'm maybe regretting that I got such a big tub of it for my first time, but it looks delicious. Dessert dip pumpkin pie flavor. I really f*** with anything pumpkin pie flavor. And then truly, if you were not buying your alcohol at Costco, for those of you that are of age, you need to start. The Moe there is $39, and the Chandon is, I think, like 14 or something. It's so cheap. And then I got these little mini pomegranate seed cups. These are so good. And a 24 case of the San Pellegrino sparkling water, some blackberries, and you know when like you're hungry and you're shopping and do I need this? No, like I already ate dinner, honestly. Maybe it'll be for lunch tomorrow, but it looked delicious. A croissant salad looks so good. Definitely did not need this though. And then unrelated and not from Costco, I got no Jordans. These are the Jordan 1 Retro High Tie Dye. And honestly, I saw these a while back they were so expensive since the prices on Jordans are always fluctuating and they were like majorly majorly way less than they were before and so I jumped on it I have no excuse but uh that's the closest that I can get to one so cute I'm so excited and then less exciting I also got some toothpaste hi guys good morning it is the next day I filmed my main channel video this morning with Kyle Hanagami and if you know what Kyle specializes in you can guess the theme of of this weekend's video. So basically I spent the morning sweating and embarrassing myself severely. I'm just about to film the intro and outro like in my regular film setting and then I'm going to open up all of the tie-dye from yesterday and throw it into the wash. Also, I got the new packaging or like the new kits delivered. We did a few small tweaks to um, mostly just like the cap colors and let me show you, it's so much more accurate. I'm so happy that we were able to swap them out. The yellow and the lime green looked essentially the exact same and and now everything is way, 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 way more color accurate, which was obviously the goal. So I've got all of my pieces over here. I also did a little bit of reverse tie-dyeing yesterday on this obviously knockoff Gucci shirt and this Playboy shirt um, that I thrifted from the Melrose Trading Post a couple vlogs ago. I just bleached them and then threw them in the wash fully, did like a cycle and then added the dye and let them sit overnight. So I'm excited to see how they turn out, but everything's looking really good, super sad. Saturated. I'm super excited. I'm really excited for that one. I've never done that color combo before. Oh my god This feels like the main channel like view <laughs> except on the vlog camera. Oh god. Okay It's the moment of truth. Honestly, this is the best part Like obviously I love when the tie-dye is clean and wearable But there's nothing like the satisfaction of cutting open the elastics and making something really cute our first pair of sweatpants Oh, oh, oh Oh, these are cute. These are cute. These are cute. These are cute. Wow. Oh my god. Bitch. Wow. 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 I am impressed. Okay, one for one so far. Good start. All right, these are the rainbow sweats. I have high hopes for these ones too. Honestly, the spiral technique that I did, I wasn't sure if it was gonna work on the sweatpants because it's kind of like a weird shape to spiral, but oh my God. Oh my, oh bitch. Oh my God. Oh, these are cute. These are cute. Oh my God. Cute. 
cute. Very cute. Very cute. Wish there was a tiny bit more dye here, but it's okay. It's gonna be cute. I'm also excited for these to fade a little bit. These are a little bit vibrant for me for everyday. So definitely excited for that to fade just like a little bit. Okay, moment of truth. These might be ugly as shit. Like, I just want to give you a heads up. I am aware that this was an unconventional dye job and we might hate these. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Ah! Honestly, the blue and purple side looks really good. I feel like just the yellow and green don't have enough contrast to each other. These might be too weird. I'm gonna wash them anyways, just in case, and they are like comfy sweats as well. All right, and last one is the pink, purple, yellow, orange hoodie. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, that's cute. Wow, the spiral really came through. I also am excited for this one to fade a little bit. I feel like the yellow especially is just like a little brighter than clothing I would normally wear. So I'm gonna go rinse the excess dye and throw them in the wash and then we'll do a reveal when they're dry. I'm so excited! Everything turned out except for the ugly weird sweatpants that we kind of knew we weren't going to! Whoa! Oh my god, okay, so please ignore the disaster that's going on in this room, but look how cute this outfit is. Also, who am I? I'm wearing jeans. They're like flared and baggy, and this flannel is so cute. I just got this. Oh, actually, I think these are both from Zara. I haven't shopped on Zara in so long, and I think that I really like their clothes right now. Maybe because my style is changing. I just have been sleeping on Zara for sure. My only issue is that this flannel is so damn scratchy and it makes me so sad. You guys know that I just like, I don't do clothes unless they're comfy. And these are baggy, so it's like these barely pass the comfy check. Yeah, it's just scratchy. It's literally the cutest color. I love it so much, but she's not soft. And honestly, and maybe this is like crazy, but I just love the colors and the fits so much that I ordered a Cotton Hanes long sleeve shirt to deconstruct so I can put the sleeves onto the inside of the flannel so it's not scratchy on my arms. Is that really far? I can't decide if that's like genius or if I should just let it go and put up with it and grow up and stop being a baby that's obsessed with soft things. I think it's fine. All right, welcome to my living room uh, slash dining room slash absolute disaster. These are officially done. No, just kidding. They're not officially done. Michael's was literally completely sold out of white spray paint. Sir, your tippy tappies. So the molding is completely done and honestly, it's really white, but I do want to give it just like one solid spray paint coat so that it's a little more glossy. So this project is almost complete and honestly I was hoping to have it done today but because of the apparent spray paint shortage um, maybe not until this weekend but I am gonna get it off of this dining table so we can like reclaim our space and so exciting I have so many plans for the house to kind of grow up the space. I'm just like again I rushed and decorated and bought a lot of girly things and now I just like want neutral. So I got some really cool cool chairs to go on this side where the bench is and then two different chairs to go here and here on the ends of the table and Jeremy and I are going to do our best to be adults and keep this table free of shit it's always covered in packages so I'm gonna remove these take the bench and I don't know if, if any of my friends are watching this if you want this bench let me know and then uh, replace it with some adult furniture wow cute I feel like the green chairs aren't showing up as color accurate on the vlog camera so I've got the two gold chairs on the end here and here and these oh I'm so sad it's not showing up the right color it's like so washed out it's such like a rich like emerald green and like some velour velvet whatever you want to call it there's the other gold one these ones are actually surprisingly comfortable like you think that it would just like slice your butt into 20 slices <laughs> but it's actually not that bad she's an adult also these standing up now are pretty cool I feel like I can start to envision them on the wall and I think it's just cool to see the texture and the way that like the light Light bounces off like the different raised areas. I'm a fan, honestly. It's like nice and neutral, nothing too crazy, but just like some texture. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is me in a purse, I'm pretty sure. I am so excited. So I randomly found this Etsy seller. I wanted like one of these shirts, like these reworked Nike shirts that have like the outside seam. I think it's such a cool trend. I don't know how I feel about this little section. I don't think I realized that it had that, but oh, huh. 
it's just on the front too very odd so anyway got that and then I was browsing through the rest of their products on this random Etsy and I ended up getting this this and then this bougie fake Louis Vuitton lock necklace which is super cute I don't think I'll put the keys in it I think I want to just wear it like this this is a pretty heavy chain but I'm down it's so cute so cute so fake but I'm here for it and then I also mom if you're watching this please turn away to a new YouTube channel got two new pairs of Air Jordan ones I'm so excited the collection is growing I'm very excited okay so you saw the tie dyes already and these I'm so excited these are the Air Jordan retro high satin black toes and I have been on the fence about getting a black white and red pair for so long and I'm so excited I feel like I don't wear a ton of stuff that coordinates with red but I just feel like anything that's like black white and basic can definitely go with these oh my god the photo shoot planning right now that is going down I oh, I'm so mad I didn't show you guys the tie-dye in like natural light but it is so cute the rainbow spiral ones turned out so fucking good these are super cute too the blue pink and purple and so right now I'm just like matching with the tops do a little bit of planning for the photo shoot that I'm doing tomorrow to capture all of like the product photos this outfit so cute honestly I'm gonna just keep the shorts white it's cute with this outfit my new purse I'm so excited and then this is a set that I tie-dyed in a different vlog bringing that the rainbow spiral hoodie with a pink tennis skirt another like purple tie-dye hoodie with a white tennis skirt we've got this one that turned out so cute I don't know if I'm gonna end up shooting that one I think this one goes better with the white skirt but we shall see all right guys I am going to oh look at that adult table back there literally every time I walk by it I scream throughout the house it looks so good I'm so happy with it oh my god adult furniture come through it's just the beginning it really is just the beginning anyways I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog I feel like it was kind of all over the place stay tuned for the next vlog I'm so excited to show you guys all the behind the scenes for the photo shoot tomorrow I haven't done like a real photo shoot I feel like I guess that's not true I shot with Jesse not too long ago but this is such a cool location I'm so excited I'm shooting with um Nezrin who I've shot with before I'm gonna be seeing Matt tomorrow to do behind the scenes and uh it's gonna be a good time we're also outdoors so like COVID safe and I'm excited so anyways get excited for that vlog I will see you guys on Sunday for the main channel video with Kyle and then on Tuesday for a new episode of Wild to Nine and then again in the next weekly not it's not a weekly vlog it's a it's a whenever I want to upload vlog okay bye guys love you